Cruden Bay is one of the greatest golf courses in the world. Um, depending on what list you look at, it's actually in the top 50 in some of the lists in the world. And it is definitely probably my third favorite golf course in Scotland. It is amazing. The architecture is fantastic. It's polarizing. It's got some crazy wild holes. And some people might think it's over the top. It's got blind shots. It's got wind. It's got some of the most beautiful holes, period, uh, in the world. And I hope you enjoy it. I'm actually not even showing my score in this video. I'm sure you can add it up. But I just thought it would be great for you to just appreciate one of the truly great golf courses in the world. Also, spoiler alert, um, my camera actually died at the end of this round. So we only have 14 of 18 holes. And I'm especially sorry you guys missed uh, the 15th hole's completely blind par 3. And the 17th hole is a great golf hole with basically a gigantic burial mound in the middle of the fairway. And um, I do promise you, though, I'm a member. I'm planning on going back in either the late spring or the summer of next year. And I promise when that happens, we'll get you a full video. And hopefully we also will be able to drive around uh, the drone and get you some drone footage as well. And maybe talk a little bit more about the architecture of the course. So without further ado, please enjoy Cruden Bay. This one is 85 yards to a green way above my feet. This is Lob Wedge. gone over the back. This one went over the back and we are in some serious trouble.
pretty amazing to see what a great hole this is. There's this berm here and then over here on the right. Um, and if you hit it just right, you can go through this little funnel right here and it'll take you right down to the bottom of the green. Unfortunately, we went a little bit right. So we're gonna be playing from the rough right over here. Definitely one of my favorite greens on the golf course. I mean, just check it out. Amazing. Good slopes, feed it in here. So here we are again, now that we've finished the hole and we're on the fourth tee, we can cut the light on so the next people can hit. And there we go, green light. We got us a little tap in. This is the fifth hole. It's a long par four, 463 yards. We're gonna go with driver, try to play it up the right, hit a draw. All right, we got 200 pin. We're gonna try to hit a 180 shot. Run it up there. to be pretty much perfect. There are just tons of good holes on this golf course. This stretch, basically from two to about seven are fantastic. This is number six, it's a par five, 520 yards. And uh, we're gonna try to hit it right up the gut here. So we're about 240, 245 out from here. Actually, the green is over to the left, over the top of that dune, um, way out of my range. Plus there's a burn in front, so there's no chance. Uh, the smart play is to hit it just kind of right down the middle where you see those guys there. And you uh, go to the right and try to hit a shot even with these bunkers. Try to hit about a 160 carry shot. 
and um, yeah, eight iron. That should be absolutely perfect. We got about 100 yards here into this green, burn short, kind of a middle pin. You wanna keep it a little bit left because there's a swale in the middle of the green. And uh, like I said, 100 yards, we're gonna just go smooth sandwich. Actually got pretty lucky here. If I'd have been a couple of yards short, you can see it. It all falls off and it can go down in that burn right there. So I hit a little thin and it was a lucky thin. All right, let's see if we can make a putt. Broke a little right on me. Got another great hole here. This is number seven. It's a 390 yard par four. Uh, kind of goes up and to the left through this gap in the dunes, but you definitely want to aim your ball more to the right. There's a post in that big dune you see on the right hand side and that's right where you want to hit it. Uh, just try to hit straight driver right at it. I was just right out of the post on the hill. Good shot. So if you hit a really good drive up the left, you can see up and into the green here. It's more than a club uphill, kind of in between these dunes that you see here, right up through the break in them. Pretty amazing hole. Green actually falls off on both sides, but right is death. I went over here just through the fairway I may not even have a view of the pin from there, but. We got 135 pin. Um, I'm gonna play a 140 club, cause like I said, it's uphill, but it's linksy shot and it's a flyer probably. And short is better than long. So I'm gonna play the number pretty much. We're trying to, like I said, view is missing. Trying to go right over the left-hand corner of this dune that we've got in front of us, right over the top left of it. Good nine iron right where we wanted to hit it. We'll see. So I think I ended up just missing the green to the right. And like I said, the right is death. Ball actually ended up way, way down there. I'm gonna play a real linksy one, putt it up here. See, you probably can't see where the ball starts from, but I think you can see the ball go by. Didn't hit hard enough. It might come back to my feet. Try it again. over the edge that's double this is number eight it's actually a 250 yard drivable par four we're gonna hit the driver and try to knock it on So if you look at where the ball is right now, this is a huge slope to go up. 
it's actually a much more difficult par four than they give it credit for. You basically go from thinking you can drive it to now kind of being like, just make sure you get this up the hill and on the green. And if you get it close for birdie, great, but a par becomes a good score from here. That's a little short, but it's safe. Here we are for our birdie. Got about 12 feet. Got it, nice bounce back. Now we got a crazy walk. You go up and around and you end up on top of this dune. And I'll show you the view. It's one of the great holes in golf, great views in golf. So once you climb to the top of that hill, here's your reward. You can see the whole front nine kind of stretched out in front of you. Over here back to the clubhouse with 17 and 18. And you got Slane's Castle over here in the distance and a lovely view of the beach. There's Slane's Castle. And you got a view of the sea all the way around. And then you've got the other holes on the back nine kind of laid out in front of you. What a place. You can also see down here, we got the famous, we got the famous hole here with the bathtub green, number 14. My favorite hole, one of my favorite holes in the entire world and my favorite hole on this golf course. What a place, Cruden Bay. So now we got hole number nine. Up here on the top of the dunes, there's three bunkers kind of off in the distance, and you want to be just left of the bunker that's kind of just right at the center of your screen, and uh, just wail away, because it's a long hole, 415. Good ball, right where we wanted to hit it. All right, so we got about 160 yards here. We're gonna be going smooth eight. It's just a little downhill. Try to land it right on the front of the green and let it run back there. wet out there came up just a little bit short green's a little bit of an optical illusion it actually runs away from you a little more than you think careful on speed on this one a little too careful on the speed quite a bit short Let's see if we can knock it in So this is number 10, downhill, really downhill par four. It's one of the only holes that I wouldn't say is great here at Cruden Bay, it's just okay. Really, you just bomb it at those bunkers on the left and make sure you don't go OB because there's OB all to the right. We got about 75 yards. It's a full X wedge for me. Uh, see if we can hit this a good shot. It's 
a little right, a little short. Good swing though. Great par three here. Green's kind of like a tabletop. Can't miss short right. You don't want to miss right. You really just need to hit the green here. It's a very hard green to hit. Left and long are kind of the plays. It's 160. I'm gonna hit a smooth eight. That's big trouble unless it gets a perfect kick. Oh, we got really lucky with that. Sit down, ball. If that sits and stops, it's still good. Thin to win. Great thing about golf is that sometimes you just get really good breaks, sometimes you get bad breaks. Hit that really thin, landed about 20 yards short of the green. I think you can see my pitch mark right there, just kind of slammed into it. It bounced and it just barely cleared this little swale right here because down here you do not want to be bounced up. Now we're on the green with about a 20 footer for a birdie. Sometimes you just get lucky. All right, let's see if we can make a birdie. Great short par four here, 311. You can go for it when it's downwind, but it's kind of a dumb play. For me, the smart play is just hybrid at the right bunker, go and draw. Just got to kick off it right in the fairway. We're in the right hand side of the fairway, 95 yards, easy sand wedge. Think that's good. This actually might be my favorite green on the golf course. It's just perfectly tied into the surroundings. Flat, works right in with the hill. It has this great little mound right on the front that kind of makes you make a decision whether to carry it in there or whether you can bump it and bring it in low. Just a great feature. And then on the inside, it's just got all this internal contouring, a little humps and bumps. Uh, kind of a swale in the back, a swale in the front, and it's just a fantastic green. Anything out here between the bunkers is a good shot. Long par five. The two bunkers are both about 260. Hitting driver today because there's not any wind. That is absolutely all right, just gonna lay up. You wanna lay up out to the left on this hole so you can get a view for the third shot to the green.
We've got about 135 uphill. We're gonna hit a smooth nine. Burned a lot of edges today. Number 14, my favorite hole on the course. You want to hit it up there, right of that second bunker that you see down the left, maybe towards that cart path in the distance. Somewhere between there is a great shot. That's trouble in the bunker. All right, the only choice, splash it out. Take your medicine. So this hole is great, completely blind second shot. And from the fairway, you just try to hit at that little post. I got out of the bunker pretty good. I got about 110. I'm gonna go just to the right of the post, short right pin. We're gonna hit a little punchy 450, 49 degrees. See where we end when up. you come up over the hill, here's your view. Bathtub, punch bowl. What a phenomenal green. If you can literally just hit it up here over the top by the stick, it runs all the way down. I think mine landed a little short, ran just a little bit long, but what a golf hole.